Hi! In this video, you'll learn everything you need to know about calico cats, from genetics, different names across the world and fun facts, to a very beautiful and true story about how a calico cat saved a railway station from being closed. What is a calico cat? A calico cat is a domestic cat with a coat that's typically 25% to 75% white, with large orange and black patches, or sometimes cream and grey patches. Speaking of coloring, there are actually three variations of calico coloring. The standard calico, which has a primarily white coat with patches of orange and black. A dilute calico, which has the same white base, but their patches are softened to a charcoal grey, cream and light orange. And a mix of calico and tabby cat called calibi. The calibi has the same color variations as calicos with the addition of the signature tabby stripes. Now that we know what a calico is and also its coloring, let's see how they're named across the world. Outside North America, the calico pattern is more usually called tortoiseshell and white. In the province of Quebec, Canada, they are sometimes called Chat de Spain, which is French for female cat of Spain. Other names include Brindle, Tricolor Cat, Toby Mike, Japanese for triple four, or this word, which means patches cat in Dutch. Calicos with diluted coloration have been called Kelimenko or Clouded Tiger. Really interesting names. Let's now continue with genetics and learn how they look so amazing. Since the genetic side isn't the most easiest part, I'll try to make it as digestible as possible. You see, the genetic code for color is contained in an X chromosome. Female cats have an XX and male cats have an XY. To be a calico, a cat must have the XX combination, that's why most calicos are female. In very rare cases, and I mean really rare, a male cat can inherit an extra X chromosome, making him exhibit the calico pattern, but in return making him sterile and prone to health problems. But don't panic just yet if you have a male calico, because with a healthy diet, exercise and lots of love and attention, you can help him live a longer and happier life. And interestingly enough, male cats can carry this extra gene only in some cells of their body, and therefore some of them can actually have kittens, but these ones are even harder to find. In addition to dirty cats, calico cats also express a white spotting gene and that's how they get this beautiful pattern. But if you want to learn more about their genetics, I'll link in the description box a website full of genetics information. Make sure to check it out. And now, enough with genetics, let's move forward. Calico is not a breed, but a color pattern of the fur. The most famous breeds that can have this pattern are Maine Coon, Japanese Bobtail or Persian Cat, but many more can also have it. Although British Shorthairs and Russian Blues can also sport the Calico pattern, the breed organization accepts only cats with solid colored coats. Pointed breeds like the Siamese don't accept calicos either, because the breed has a specific coloring of a light-colored body with darker fur on the cat's extremities. And now, let me tell you some amazing fun facts before unveiling the beautiful story of how a calico saved the railway station. In Germany, calico cats are said to bring good luck. In the United States, they are sometimes referred to as money cats. A cat with a calico coloration is also the state cat of Maryland in the US. In Japan, most Manekiniko figures depict calico cats, because they bring good luck. Japanese sailors often had a calico on board to protect against misfortune at sea. And now the moment you've been waiting. A calico cat saved a railway station in Japan from being closed. This happened back in 2007, when Kinokawa train station was about to be closed due to budget issues. As a last resort, the town sent a local calico cat to be station master, where she would greet passengers as they walked by. As the calico cat became a celebrity, it drove a 17% increase in traffic, saving the station from closing. Overall, calico cats are pretty well seen in the popular culture, but I'm curious, what is their personality like? Tell me in the comments! In the next video, we'll discuss the most toxic plants and flowers for your cats, but some of them are also toxic for you, so make sure to subscribe to not miss it. If you want to learn more about cats, then click on one of the videos on the screen. Also check our links in the description for some super cool stuff for your cat. Thanks for your attention and see you in the next video!